Hi, I'm Ollie Merz, and I'm at the Playlist office here at Daily Star, and I am giving you guys all the gossip, chatting about my new single, my album that's coming out, and just any other questions that, you know, they're going to fright me, really. Um, I'm obviously not coming through the industry from scratch, you know, obviously I did the X Factor, and it gave me a massive platform, but... I think for any artist that comes through that's starting their career like I am, um, you know, to have someone like him in your corner with the likes of Simon Cowell as well, I mean, to have people around me that are really experienced in the industry and, and also, you know, getting to do these writing sessions with, you know, the likes of Roy from Scout for Girls and, and Preston because, you know, Preston's been around as well and so is Roy and, and you know, and there was a star I worked with, um, uh, Chris Difford from Squeeze on the track um, and again he's been there and done that and so you get a gist of the industry and they talk to you and give you advice and what you should you know what's going around you and stuff like that and you you know it's great to have you know, Robbie there if I need him by to send him in a text or an email and Simon's there if I need to, to, to see him any time as well so it's good and how hands on has Simon been involved in the project for you? Simon's been amazing really I, like I didn't expect him to be involved as, as much as he has like because I know he's really busy but you just can't stop Simon. I think he's just so determined to to, to be to be a part of everything, you know. Um, and he's been there for me whenever I've needed him. And he's heard the tracks, loves the tracks. And if there's anything that he doesn't like, he'll come back and say, oh, "We change that, we change this, we change that." And you know, all the time, you hate to say it, but Simon's always bloody right. I mean, why can't <laughs> he? You can't. Why can't once you know, like you just turn around and go. He actually turned around and said, you know what, Ollie, I, I, that was wrong, you know. And I think he's he's definitely the kind of man that would tell you that if he was wrong. Um, but, you know, 99.9999% of the time, he's, he's 100% right. So. But you were, you know, it was quite unprecedented, the deal that you got, that he signed you along with Epic. Yeah. You know, usually these days it's just whoever wins the show. So well, I think that... Shows his yeah, definitely. And I think that, I think as well, because, you know, obviously... You know, Joe takes priority, and that's I completely understand that he's the winner of the X Factor. You know, so of course Simon, you know, and me and Epic joined together. It was Epic can get involved as well and help me out as well and get involved, and and also Simon can be there to, to sort of go over a few things and check things out. And because I'm sure you know, you know, because Joe is his priority because he won the show, and that's I can understand that because he did. You know, so so no, it's been great. It's been great to have that collaboration deal, and and it's been better, you know good for both of us. Um, you know, Epic and Psycho to have that relationship together and, and for me to be in the middle of it and having the best of both worlds really which is great. So it kind of takes the pressure off a little bit as well by not being the winner I mean look at JLS. It does, it completely does but you know like JLS will tell you like Rudian would say like Susan Boyle would say you know when you're on that stage in the final of these competitions you know me being the final of the X Factor last year you know, I wanted to win the X Factor. There's no question about that. I mean, I would, you know, I would wanted to win the show. So I didn't sit there and think, if I finish second, I'll be all right. And I generally didn't. And regardless of what, because what you got to remember is, regardless of how JLS have done the previous year, JLS have got have found their market. They who are who they are. They're talented, four talented, great guys that can dance, sing, good looking. Girls love them. You know what I mean? It's it's fine. But I was second place in the X Factor. I was thinking, oh. You know, it sounds silly, but I'd be like, oh, I don't really know what I can give. You know, well, I don't know what my fan, but you know, I don't know what. Hopefully, I've got fans. I mean, I've just lost the biggest show on national telly. Obviously, I haven't got a massive fan base, so I'm thinking, oh my god, like maybe I won't get signed. You know, so and lucky enough I did. But you know, it's just pot luck, really. Um, you know, because you just there's nothing guaranteed. And you know, the last year only three people got signed, which was me, Joe, and, and, and the Jedward boys. So. You know, there's a lot of talented singers, and I think that's kind of you know this year will be the same, I'm sure. But you have to wait and see who gets signed. But see, I love Matt. Matt Matt's my favourite. Of course, Matt's always going to get an Essex vote from me because you know um, we we spoke before we, before we went to the X Factor house because he knew someone that I knew or something, and we he ended up asking for my number and we spoke and I think he's way the heads up on what it was going to be like and just a bit of advice really. So. I thought that was nice for me really, I think that you know, JLS did that for me last year when a couple of weeks in when I met them I managed to, to speak to them on the phone when I could and Marvin was always giving me advice and, and texting me and stuff like that and so I felt like I needed to give Matt some advice and let him know how I dealt with the X Factor you know because you know he's got the talent and it's no question he's got the my most amazing voice the only thing I feel with Matt is I just want to see I want to see him do something different now I just want him to I want to see him maybe do a more of an up-tempo song and something that you know he can sort of perform because I feel at the moment he's kind of just standing behind the mic and he's 
singing amazingly, but whereas on the other hand, I look at Cher, and you know she can sing ballads, she can do up tempo songs. She's completely unique. You've never seen on the X Factor before. She can rap. She's got everything different that you know. If you're looking for a new X Factor winner, she'd be the one that no one's ever seen before. Like she's completely unique in her own way. So it's between them two for me at the moment. I think Cher is just coming to her own. She's Matt singing really well. They just I think if Matt can twist, if Matt can do a few up tempo songs and nail them then I think that he's got an, an unbelievable chance. The album's coming out as well, will you be back on X Factor performing a new single? Yeah, the album's going to be out on the 29th. Um, I'm still waiting on confirmation from the X Factor um, for a performance on it. Um, I really hope I get it because I'm really gagging to get back. Um, you know, if I had it my way, I'd have, I'd have auditioned this year. You know, I, I, <laughs> I, generally, I generally miss the show, I generally do. I, I can't, I've missed the whole build up and the excitement of it and I, I wish that you know, you can have that every day because it's great. But um, but no, I really, really want to get back and perform. It'd be great fun, um, and um, be good to get in front of the judges again. And even just talking about it, I'm like, I get all like my little heart goes a bit funny. I'm like, come on. <laughs> but if I don't, I don't. Um, but hopefully in the future I'll get a chance. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about the single coming out on the 21st, and of course the album and. I'm really looking forward to Christmas and having a great Christmas. And so I was going to say, what are your plans for that? Are you do a gig on New Year's Eve or something? Probably or Christmas. I'm, I'm going to be going away from the 30th of December to 10th of January on a holiday for 10 days. I haven't decided anywhere I'm going to go yet, but I'm going to book a holiday. Um, but I should be probably gigging Christmas Eve somewhere or a few gigs. And then Christmas Day, I'm going to be um, probably at home with my family, watching the telly, watching my EastEnders special, Christmas special. Um, and you know, eating my homemade trifle and giving my presents to everyone. And of course, I want to wish everyone a happy Christmas. Have a great time. Um, and you know, <laughs> thank you guys so much for the support you've given me over the last year.